Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and the topic for today is quadratic equation and in this video we are going to see how to determine nature of roots of a quadratic equation. So let's get started. When we talk about a quadratic equation, it is a polynomial equation of second degree and the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Whenever we write any equation, it must have left hand side and right hand side. Similarly, when we write a quadratic equation, then the quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c must be written on one side of the equation and the another side of the equation must only contain zero. If you can see an example here, 5x squared minus 3x plus 3 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation because it is a polynomial equation of degree 2. Now we shall see few important terms related to quadratic equation. When we have the general standard form of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, this x squared is called the quadratic term x part is called the linear term and the c is called the constant term of a quadratic equation. When we talk about the discriminant of a quadratic equation, so in order to calculate the discriminant, in order to know the nature of roots of a quadratic equation, let us see actually what has to be done. If we consider a quadratic equation, the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, where a is not equal to 0 because if a will become equal to 0, then the quadratic equation will be converted into a linear equation. Now, since it is a quadratic equation and this variable x is having the power as 2, this means when you will solve this equation, you are going to get two roots that means you are going to get two values that will satisfy this x and the roots of a quadratic equation they are given by the formula x equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a and this formula is termed as quadratic formula if you now just notice the term which is written inside the under root part that is b square minus 4ac. This value, the value of this particular expression is used to find the nature of roots. And this value b square minus 4ac is called discriminant which is denoted by the symbol delta. So if you can see here, discriminant or delta equals to b square minus 4ac. Now we shall see three cases involving the nature of roots. Now, as we have seen that, how to find the discriminant of a quadratic equation, now we will focus on the three cases which will involve the nature of roots. So let us see what is case one. When delta is greater than 0, now we know that delta means discriminant, that is b square minus 4ac greater than 0. Whenever we will have this condition, then we are going to have two roots for our quadratic equation. And what will be the nature of the two roots? They will be real and unequal. Or you may say that you will get two unequal real roots. Let us take up one example in order to support the case one. Now we shall see and understand case two. So let us have our focus there. Case two, when delta is zero, that means the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is zero. In this case, the two roots of the quadratic equation, they will be real and equal. In order to understand this, let us take one example based on case 2 now.
now we come to our last case, case 3. And let us see what it is. Case 3 means when the value of delta is less than 0. That means the discriminant b square minus 4ac will result in some value which will be negative. That means less than 0. In this case, the roots of the quadratic equation are not real. That means you will get no real roots but only imaginary roots. So the case when delta is less than 0, whenever the discriminant is coming negative, in that case we get no real roots. Now we shall compile all the three cases together and let us see what we have understood. Now we shall see all the three cases together. So let us quickly see. First case is when delta is greater than 0. That means p square minus 4ac will come positive. Then you will have two unequal real roots. Whenever delta will be equal to 0, in that case we will have two equal real roots. And the third case, when the delta will be less than 0, that means p square minus 4ac is coming negative. In that case, we will not have any real root. That means no real roots for the case when delta is less than 0. So this was all about the nature of roots of the quadratic equation. And in the next video, we shall see few more things related to the quadratic equation. Till then... Thank you so much.